Hello, hope you are doing good. In this video, I will be showing you how to send Canva newsletter in email. The first thing you want to do is create your email newsletter. So to do this, once you are signed up to Canva, which you can do for completely free, you are going to tap on the search bar and from there you are going to type in email newsletter. So let's do that real quick and you are going to tap on it. After you have done that, you'll be redirected to this page. On this page, you'll see numerous templates that you can choose from. So you can scroll down until you have seen a template that you would like to edit. As you can see, there are numerous options that you can choose from. Keep in mind that the templates that you see with the crown that says Pro, you'd have to be a paid subscriber to use that particular template. But don't worry, there are numerous other templates that you can use. Let's say, for example, I would like to use this template. All I would need to do is simply tap on it. After you have done that, you can scroll down and you'll see similar newsletter that you can use. Then you'll tap on customize this template. After tapping on customize this template, you'll be redirected to a new page. On this new page, you're going to see the sample template right here. And the first thing I want you to do right where you see page one of one, you are going to simply pull along the slider to the right until it has zoomed in on to where you are comfortable as you can see right there and then from there you can start editing it so for example let's say i would like to change the header section i could simply tap right there and from there i could type in whatever i want let's say for example tutorials then from there, you can also change the font color by tapping on the capital A at the top. If you'd like to use another font color, you can do that. You can select the font color that you want to use. You will simply select the entire text box, then tap on the font color that you want to use, then tap on change all, and you'll realize that all of the text has changed as you can see right there. You can also change the size of the font and the style by tapping right where you see Nectarine, you can tap there and you can also tap on 99. And to change the photos, all you'll need to do is tap on the photo section, then go over to the left hand menu option, tap on uploads, and then from there you can upload the photo that you would like to add. Or you can tap on elements from the top left hand corner, and then from there you can type in whatever you would want to add and you will see some copyright free images that you can use so for example let's say i would like to add some handbag photos all i would need to do is type in handbag then tap on photos after you have done that you'll see some copyright images that you can use right here copyright free images that you can use better yet you'll simply scroll down until you see one that you like and again keep in mind that any one of them that you see with the crown that means that you will have to be a paid subscriber to use that particular one. So let's say for example this one, you can simply drag and place them as you can see right here. So let me do that once more. After you have done that, you can start editing the text section. So you'll tap right here and you can make any changes you want. You can also tap on this text box and you can make any changes you want as you can see right here. You can also change the title section if you want. You can tap right there and you can make the changes. After you're finished, you're going to tap on share in the top right hand corner. Then scroll down and you're going to tap on download. After selecting download, I want you to tap on download once more. Once it has been downloaded, I want you to open a new tab and you're going to go onto MailChimp. As MailChimp will be the email marketing platform that we'll be using to send our Canva newsletter. And with MailChimp, you can get started for completely free. You don't need a credit card or anything like that to sign up. For example, if I were to scroll down, you can see there are different price plans right here. And as I was saying, they offer a free plan. And with this free plan, you will be able to send up to a thousand monthly emails for completely free. Plus, you'll get numerous other features that normally you'd have to pay for to get them on other platforms. And you can see that they're also very reasonable if you want to go onto one of their paid plans. 
So once you're on MailChimp, after you have signed up using your email address, you are going to go over to the left hand menu option and tap on create. After selecting create, you're going to scroll down and right here you are presented with three options. You can either create a landing page or you can create an email automation system. Meaning, for example, let's say we were running an e-commerce store and we would like to send emails to our past customers when their when their birthday. You can set up an automation for that. Or for example, whenever someone abandons a cart, you can also do that. But for this example, we'll be selecting regular email since we are sending out a newsletter. You are going to be redirected to a new page. On this new page, you will now be able to select the template that you want to use. Since we have created our email newsletter already, we are going to select the start from scratch option. So you are going to tap on apply. After tapping on apply, you will be redirected to the editor page. On the editor page, the first thing you will be prompt to do is enter your logo. So let's say I were to remove this logo right here. To add a logo, all you'll need to do is go over to the left hand menu option. Right where you see logo, you'll simply drag and place the logo at the top right there. After you have added the logo, you'll now tap right where you see add logo. Then from there, you could tap on my files. After you have tapped on my files, you could select upload in the top right hand corner. Once you have selected upload from there, you could select a photo that you would like to use as your logo or you could go back into Canva for example sake. We could go back into Canva real quick. Then from there we could tap on the search bar and you could type in email header. After typing in email header, you'll be redirected to this page and on here you can see numerous templates that you can choose from. So we'll just be selecting this template for example sake. So I'll tap right there. Then from here I'm going to tap on customize this template. Once you have tapped on customize this template, you'll be redirected to a new dashboard. And I'm just going to be adding some simple text just for example sake. So I'll go over to the left hand menu option, tap on text. Keep in mind that these are templates that you can also use that you are seeing on the left hand menu option right here. So I'll tap on text and I'm just going to tap on add a heading and I'm going to type in simple answers. Then from there, I'm going to tap on Canvas Sans and I'm going to be changing the font style. So I'll change it to Deja Vu and I'm also going to change the font size. So I'm going to tap right where you see 16 on my screen and from there, I'm going to change it to let's say 96. Or better yet, let us go back. We're going to be changing it to 56. So you can see it right there. Now all we'll do is simply pull it up. So we're going to do that real quick. So let me adjust it right there. And I'm going to be using a smaller size. So I'll be using 36 just for example sake. And I'm going to pull it right in the middle right there. And I'm going to be adding some background color. To do this, you'll simply select the entire text box, then tap on effects. After tapping on effects, you can scroll down and you could tap on background color right there. And you can see that the background color has now been added. And if you like to change the shape, you can do that as you can see right there. So I could tap on the color box and from here I could select any color that I would like to use as a background. I can also change the shape. So the roundness, I could adjust that as you can see right here. I can adjust the shape of this. So I'll leave it as is at the moment. After doing that, you will tap on share in the top right hand corner. Then from there, you're going to tap on download, then tap on download once more. After it has been downloaded, you'll simply go back into MailChimp. Then from there, you're going to tap on upload in the top right hand corner. And we're going to be selecting the header that we have just created. So we'll select the header, then tap on open. And you can see it has now been added. And you can choose whether you like it to be center, right, or full. I'll select full. Then after doing that, you're going to tap on done in the top left hand corner. Now below this, you can also add some social media icons. So you can go over to the left hand menu option 
and select social then you are going to be placing it right below your header after you have done that you can add in your social media links on the left hand menu option right here you could add in your social media links as you can see there you can also change the size so if you would like it to be smaller you can do that if you like it to be a medium size you can do that then you will tap on done and now we are going to be adding our newsletter that we have created in canva to do this you'll simply tap on image from the left hand menu option after you have tapped on image so let's do that real quick you're going to be dragging it and placing it right below the social media icon then you're going to tap on browse images and we're going to tap on upload so we're going to tap on upload in the top right hand corner and then we're going to be selecting the image that we had created or better the newsletter that we had created in canva so let's do that real quick and you can see the newsletter has been added right here now keep in mind if you would like it to be clickable so once someone reads your newsletter if they were to tap on it they will be redirected to your website all you'll need to do is go over to the left hand menu option and you would scroll down then you'll see link to you'll select web and then you are going to paste in your website url right here after you have done that it will now be clickable and if you would like to change the background you can do that by tapping on color right there now after doing that it is now time to edit the footer section or if it is a case that you'd like to add a button you can do that you will simply drag and place the button right there and then from there you can select the option so you could edit the text you could tap right where you see add button text then you could scroll down and you can change the button shape button color and the information as you can see right there after you have done that now if you like to edit the footer section which is this section right here you could simply tap right there then from there you can see the changes that you can make right here after you're finished let's remove this section we'll remove this blank section right there and this is how it looks at the moment and all you'll need to do now you could tap on preview in the top right hand corner to get a better view of how it looks and you can also tap on mobile to see the mobile view if it is steer liking you'll simply tap on the x in the top right hand corner to close it you can send a sample email so you could tap on the arrow in the top right hand corner and tap on send test email and you'll be able to send a test email but to send out your newsletter you will need to tap on save and exit in the top right hand corner after tapping on save and exit from here you can tap on add recipients and then you can import your contacts or you can manually add in your contacts then from there you can tap on add from and you could add your business name and also your business email address which your customers or your newsletter signups will see you can also add a subject and you can also decide the time that you would like to send it keep in mind to schedule an email you'll need to be on the paid plan on mailchimp after you're finished you'll simply tap on send in the top right hand corner and that's it hope you found this video helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe